must be alive. Not so much coming up in the chat. <laughs> oh dear, I'm at it. I'm not on the ball at all tonight. That's because um, the Duchess, she's been out. She's been to the uh, inaugural choir at the Voss, which is the Veterans Outreach Support over in Portsmouth. Sounds like she just literally got back in. So, um, There'll be pandemonium at the moment. So, <laughs> now, I'm not quite sure whether I'm going to be able to see uh, comments coming in because I'm doing it slightly different tonight. I've um, Rather than go out live from Ecamm Live, which I normally do, which takes up quite a lot of bandwidth, I'm going out using um, Ecamm as a virtual camera. Kelvin Jenkins, good evening. Um, yeah, so I'm going out via StreamYard. Um, so I'm going to, I've gone out via StreamYard. So that's how it's working. So if you can see me and if you can hear me, uh, just pop in, say, evening, good evening, welcome, hello, etc., etc. Oh, evening, Catherine. Uh, evening, everybody. Yes, hopefully we're going to get a few in tonight. It should be fun. Um, at the present moment of time, I am on the jack. So I'm coming to you live from the old Hill Manor. Um, because there's nothing on the telly, that's why you're here. In fact, I know people what put this up on the telly. <laughs> so they are watching it on the telly. Um, yeah. So the Duchess, a ladyship, who compiled this particular one. And if you have a look at the backdrop today, I um, wonder if you can work out what it's likely to be about. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes, it's going to be about cities. So get your geography heads on, sort of. <laughs> so it'll be uh, it'll be good. Evening, Christine. So we've got a few in the house already. Now, unlike what I normally say every week, I don't know how many I'm getting. I can't see who's in unless you pop in the chat. Unless you're putting something in the chat, I can't see where you, whether you're in or not. But I can see your comments. <laughs> so, I didn't think this one through. 
So, um, what we're going to do, we're going to have a quick sip of coffee and then we can get going. So, all you require is a pen and a bit of paper. If it's your first time here, welcome. Um, so, your pen and a bit of paper, jot the answers down at the end of the round. I will give you the answers. Once you've tied them up, all you need to do is pop your score in the chat. And we'll take it from there. See how well you get on. How's that? Now, it's a really good quiz. I've just been through it to make sure I can read everything. Because I wasn't sure she was going to get back in time. So she's been away singing. So we'll, we'll find out what it was all about when she gets here. But for the time being, shall we press on? Would you like the first question to see how easy this round's going to be? Then I shall begin. Ho oh, ho! Guess who just wandered in? It's there, isn't it? It's, oh, only, it's only the Duchess. She's been, she's come on and tell us all about it. Quick, quick brief on what you've been up to. Well, we're forming a new choir. So it's just a bit of a meet up and quick vote of who likes what songs and meet the director of music and have a nice cup of coffee but we're not allowed milk because it's bad for your throat apparently you can't <laughs> sing on coffee that scabbed everybody but no it's nice it's good fun good social good social evening well welcome back i was i was it's touching right, right, you missed me didn't you love oh, i did I, I missed you immensely and did i was I did. Oh, Thank no, you very right. much. You're right, now you need that <laughs> bit closer to you, else it's, you'll 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 be too quiet. Oh, okay, that's not right. nice. Yeah, no. Quiet. Yeah, no. <laughs> quiet in the same breath as me. <laughs> yes. Anyway, I was <laughs> just I was just about to get going. Go so okay. uh, here we go. Up. Boom. Into question one. Jump. There we go. Oh, question one. Tallinn is the capital city of which country? There you go. That's an easy one to start with. Just if you know it. Well, yeah. I'll give you in. It's the other side that... Uh, the... <laughs> <laughs> it's not England. <laughs> no, it's not England. It's, um, it used to be part of Russia, but no longer is. There you go. That's a bit of help. Question two. What is the capital of Malta... GC and a GC is George Cross. So at the end of the war, King George uh, presented Malta with the George Cross for all the, the uh, what they went through, all that bombing and everything. Of, uh, yeah. So, question two then what is the capital of Malta GC? So, is that the same as Malta? Yes, that's the same as Malta. Nowadays, so nowadays, nowadays, no, nowadays so they drop the GC. The, they drop the GC off. Exactly, that's why I wrote it as Malta. <laughs> in 2023. Yeah, but they did suffer. It's going to be one of these quizzes, isn't it? It'll change your Anyway, question, question three. Minsk is the capital city of what country? Of which country, should I say? Which country? Did you want to read that one out? <laughs> Minx is the capital of which country? There you go. Piece of cake. Question four. What is the capital of Romania? And it's not our. <laughs> it's not it's not our gate at the bottom oh. of our garden when you went to stop home. Capital of <laughs> So, what is the capital of Romania? Question five. Pristina is the capital city of which country? Mm. Oh, I have. I spent the best part of a the year there. <laughs> <laughs> so, Pristina is the capital city of which country? He's mucking about That's today, his wasn't birthday, he? Fred, and it's his birthday today. Oh, great. Yeah. Oh, by the way, it's the, 
the Hound of Hill Manor's birthday today. He's big boy one. Yeah, he's all one. All of one is Hudson. So there you go. Question six. What is the capital of Uganda? Does he have to do it right on that? There you go. He's there happy. Go, he's happy. He's chewing on the car. He's got a bone and he's just clanging against the leg of the desk. That's mm. why you hear So question six then. What is the capital of Uganda? Question seven. Manila is the capital of which country? Manila is the capital of which country? Ooh. Question eight. Port of Spain is the capital of where? Oh, now that's, that's, that's a tricky one, isn't it? It is a little sneaky one. That's a sneaky little yeah, one. Port of Spain is the capital of where? Mm hmm. That's not the one in Hertfordshire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that ain't got an H in it. <laughs> or two E's. <laughs> so question nine, the scrum half question. <laughs> you can say that this week because it's not a yeah. question. <laughs> so what is the capital of the United Arab Emirates? And just as a side note, yesterday I did a recording from a lady who is based there. And that comes out this Sunday. That'll be it. Fascinating story. And yesterday I saw an aeroplane fly over from oh. that country. That's a fascinating, isn't it? There you go. <laughs> so if, <laughs> if, if you know what the capital of United Arab Emirates is, you know what we're talking about. Oh, <laughs> you know what we're talking about. <laughs> so last question in this oh, round. Yeah. Seoul is the capital of which country? Mm -hmm. So there you go. Seoul is the capital of which country? Ooh, Boom. Did, look at the news, isn't did it? you love that round? Was that a good round? Oh, I believe it. it was a good round. So, should we move on and give you some answers? Yeah. Here we go then. The answer to question number one. Tallinn, of course it was Tallinn, it's, it's Estonia. What? Tallinn is the capital of Estonia. Not Latvia, not Lithuania. <laughs> They're all in the same bit. But Tallinn is Estonia. I'm sure most of you got that anyway. So if you've got Estonia, boom, you've got it. Question two. Valletta. Now, Valletta Harbour got a real pounding during the Second World War, and that's why King George gave him the George Cross. So if you've got Valletta, you've got it right. Uh, question three. Minsk is the capital of Belarus, and I've been there as well. <laughs> in fact, a long time ago, I took part in an aid convoy to Belarus I did yeah there was a load of us with Land Rovers all loaded up to the gunnels with stuff for <laughs> orphanages oh, and stuff yeah, no we drove all the way across there oh. drove across Poland and then into oh. Belarus yeah it was great fun uh, so we've got Belarus you've got it right uh, question four Bucharest yep Bucharest is the capital of Romania. And I bet you all got that one, right? Question five. Pristina is the capital of Kosovo. Now, let me tell you just a little bit about Kosovo. Oh, you're going to start reminiscing again, aren't you? Well, just a tiny little bit. When I got there, um, it was minus 29. It was blooming freezing. And there was hardly any traffic about at all. When I left in the October of the following year, we'd gone for a really hot summer and uh, you could barely move anywhere. Um, and everywhere you looked, there was a car wash. <laughs> they just had this thing about setting up car washes all over the place. What, a minus 29? 
No, no, there was nobody about. But right through the summer, there was car washes springing up all over the place. And now they brought them all over here. <laughs> so, so, so if you've got Kosovo, you've got it right. <laughs> no, you didn't get your car washed. You just got covered in mud. <laughs> Get water in the hose, yeah, no, I know. Firing it, icicles, that's even it. the diesel was freezing <laughs> in the eaters. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. Uh, question six then <laughs> <laughs> the, cap the capital of Kampala. Oh, no, the capital no. of Uganda is Kampala. Now, that one's a little bit more tri tricky, but if you think of it, the Armin. Kampala. Yeah. See, yeah. all these sort of things that you think, oh, yeah. But yeah. at the time, when you're trying to answer them, they are actually really oh, difficult, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. But I'll Uganda. Mean, but the next rounds, don't give up, folks, because the next round will be really hard to Yeah. Know. So, question uh, yeah, seven. We've got to do some intelligent uh, Manila is the capital of the Philippines. So, have you got the Philippines? Boom. You yeah, got it right. You're yeah, correct. Question eight. Oh, Port of Spain, Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago. There you go. Tony Alley came from there. <laughs> just, just randomly. No, he was the uh, the med sergeant in the battalion for years and years and years and years. <laughs> Some of the guys might know it. <laughs> so, scrum off question. <laughs> Abu Dhabi. Yep. Abu Dhabi. So that's the, the capital of the United Arab Emirates. And the lady I was speaking to yesterday uh, is a renowned vet. She's German, but she's lived there for 20 odd years. It's a fascinating story. When it drops on Sunday morning, I urge you to go and have a listen to it or watch it. It's on the YouTube and it's on the podcast. But we're doing a quiz tonight. But we're doing a quiz tonight, so <laughs> get yes. on with the quiz. No, oh. Last question in this round then. Boom. South Korea. Of course it is. What's the capital of North Korea then? Uh, that's a different question altogether. So there you go. You there's, your, find out, there's, there's your answers. So boom. How many geniuses have we got out there? How many clever people? Let's see, uh, bung your doobry what's it's in the thing in me, Bob. <laughs> let's let's see, uh, let's see how well you did. So, go on in. You only need to put your scores. Let's count one to ten. This one, <laughs> dead easy. <laughs> They're still counting up, yeah, some they don't even need to take your shoes and socks off for this round. <laughs> Well, for counting. Your coffee. <laughs> <laughs> you entertain them for a second. Tell them about your singing. We didn't do anything like it was just oh. planning because it's oh, boom! Sort of Look at that, Christine. Ten, ten, ten out of ten. Oh, boom, boom, Christine, boom, boom, boom. Come on, you're having a laugh, aren't you? Did you really? Oh, well done, you. See. Oh, Christine, I am over the moon about that. Congratulations. Actually. So That's a really good omen for the rest of it. Oh, then. it is. Yes. Oh, that's fantastic. So let's uh, come on, Catherine. Let's see how you did. Who else have we got out there? Kelvin. Let's see how you did. Bump your, bump your doobry. What's it? Anything with Bob? <laughs> that's fantastic. That is good. Mm. Well, is should we? Oh, five out of ten, isn't it? Five out of ten, that's good. Should have paid more attention at school, shouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> <Watch news. laughs> no, it was, but it is. I, don't, I didn't think they were easy questions, actually. No. Yeah, there's one or two of them I might have had trouble with. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, he's a nuisance. He keeps kicking things underneath of what's it and uh, underneath oh, the. the Oh, that ball again. Right, come on in. Um, I'm having a laugh. <laughs> well done. Right, come on in. Uh, stand by for round two. 
five out of ten. Oh, see, these are nice ones. Now, now you're going to like it. No, you'll like this round. Your you'll like this round. These are user-friendly questions. Yep. Yeah. So here we go then. Question 11. Boom. We're straight in there. In which city can you see the little mermaid sitting on a rock in the arbor? That's a dead easy. I'll one. tell you what, I'm going to dispute that because you can't see the flipping things. There's so many flipping tools. Well, they? yeah, there is. When we went there, there were that <laughs> many coaches all trying to scramble on this tiny little statue. Yeah. Here we went to one of the gardens, didn't we? And had a short replica. We had our photos taken at the replica. You couldn't get anywhere near the thing. Yeah, that was in the Tivoli, Yeah, so wasn't where it? can you see it? Yeah, mm. right. <laughs> I'd be lucky, yeah. not me. Oh, I just, I think I just, I think I just give half the answer away. Yeah, well, never mind, never mind. <laughs> so, in which city can you see the Little Mermaid sitting on a rock in the harbour? Boom. Question twelve. Ah, David, sculpted by Michelangelo, can be viewed in which city? It's not David and Goliath. I can't read and I can't write. I can drive a tractor. <laughs> hey, I am a cider drinker. <laughs> we have some comedians on here tonight. Let me do the jokes. <laughs> so question 12 then. David, sculpted by Michelangelo, can be viewed in which city? Question 13. Where is the original painting of the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci displayed? And where's the uh, the fallen Madonna with, <laughs> with, the, not, big with the, boob, the big boobies? That's a long leisure, it was, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Probably still is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, please. yeah, so the fallen Madonna with the big boobies. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the question. Is the in... question is, where is the original painting of the Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci displayed? Mona Lisa, Mona Lisa, Manhattan. <laughs> you didn't know I could sing, did you? And you still don't. Boom. <laughs> Question 14. <laughs> what is manufactured in the, what's that, Santa Angela? No. Santa Agata. Santa Agata. Bolognese factory in Italy. Yeah, go on then, you do that one. <laughs> so, Santa, A-G-A-T-A, -A, Bolognese factory. What is manufactured in the Santa Agata Bolognese factory in Italy? And it's not spaghetti. <laughs> oh, don't give them the answer. How do you know it's not spaghetti? I How know, many people you just I know the around. answer. I bet, yeah, but you know the answer. So many people might say, oh, it's spaghetti. And you yeah, just I know it would have been it. wrong. You just, you've just, just, just blown it. it. No, you've I haven't. Blown it. No, I'm just giving them a chance. No, you've just given them a <laughs> thumb steer and Oh. Que question 15 then. <laughs> cool. Where is the world's largest medical center? And we'll give you the answer. Is it A, Beijing, B, Tokyo, C, Dallas, or D, Houston? Houston, may put a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if they've got big medals or something there. Yes. Or if they've got to go to Dallas or Tokyo or Beijing. Yes. So, where is the world's largest medical centre? Is it A, Beijing, B, Tokyo, C, Dallas, or D, Houston? Question 16. Name the southernmost capital city in the world. Ooh. Ooh. Right down south. So, 16, name the southernmost capital city in the world. 17. Which river passes through four European capital cities? They are Vienna in Austria, Bratislava in Slovakia, Budapest in Hungary, and Belgrade in Serbia. 
There you go. Which river passes through four of Europe's capital cities? Vienna, Bratislava, Budapest or Belgrade? Mm -hmm. Question 18. You do this one. <laughs> <laughs> Rank the following cities in order of population largest to lowest. Okay, so we're ranking the following cities in order of population, starting with the largest, ending with the lowest. So we've got Karachi, Pakistan, Mexico City, Istanbul, in Turkey, Delhi, India, and Beijing, China. Mm -hmm. So largest to lowest in terms of population. Karachi, Mexico City, Istanbul, Delhi, Beijing. What's we'll that now? Now let them have some thinking time, Tim. I'll give them thinking time on this one. You won't get any thinking time. <laughs> 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 Everybody has some thinking time. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a guess. Been happy and yeah, she's been a nuisance, That's as right. always. He, he lives yeah. here. He belongs here. He's part of the family. Well, we'll get him to read some of the questions out then. <laughs> <laughs> If I, if I just if I move slightly, it'll be up on my lap before yeah. you know it. He's fine. He's anyway, pressing on. And where are we going? Number 19 then. 19. Ooh. Which city has the original Pearl TV Tower? The what? Oriental Pearl. Oh, God. Oh, God. Right. Which city has the Oriental Pearl TV Tower with its distinctive pink spheres? The City God Temple. And the longest underground rail network in the world. Mm. Mm. So, which city has the Oriental Pearl TV Tower with distinctive pink spheres, the City God Temple, and the largest underground rail network in the world? And the last question in this round, 20. As well as hosting some of the world's fastest cars during the F1 Grand Prix series, which city state yeah. also has the world's fastest broadband internet speed as at 2023? That's a good one, isn't it? It is. Mm. So. so, as well as hosting some of the world's fastest cars during the Formula One Grand Prix series, which state also has the world's fastest broadband internet speed? Boom! But hey, <laughs> did that round blow your minds then? <laughs> so, did you fare any better that round? You might, yeah. I think you would be because you yeah. like mega, mega, mega big. Absolutely. Right then. Answers. <laughs> Not on a postcard because I'm going to give you them. So. Do they have think time for the last one? Have they had think time? I like think time. Do, all right. You don't do dead air though. Because this, yeah, this, okay. this is also available on a podcast. So if you miss it live, you can watch it back on YouTube. Or you can go to your favourite podcast app and listen to it there. Well, and you can sit there. Have a bite and enjoy yourself. That's it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Number 11. Then. Was it 11? Oh, crikey, yeah. So, question 11. Of course, it's Copenhagen. Wonderful. Wonderful Copenhagen. The Little Mermaid statue is only 1.25 metres high. So, She's not very tall. That's why they call it Little Mermaid. And she weighs in uh, 175 kilos. Grief. Somebody that small weighing that much? She's made of bronze, I guess. Yeah, there's a lot of great rocks she's sitting on, isn't it? She might be a little statue. She's on the big rock. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know whether they count the rock. 
Oh, <laughs> no. Whatever we call the tourists it's, that I'm talking about, it's, they don't respect it at all. No, they? They not at all. All over the thing. Yeah, terrible. Yeah. Question twelve. Then here we go. Ah, Florence. David can, can be seen in Florence, in Italy. Such a beautiful city. Yes. Beautiful. Is that a city of love? It is. You, you take a little lock, don't you, and you put it on the bridge mm. and lock yourself yes. onto it. And it's all so Michelangelo's uh, David is in Florence, in Italy. Question 13. Ah, the Lou in Paris. The Louvre. The, the, the toilet in Paris. The Louvre. <laughs> the Louvre. The Louvre in Paris. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Le Louvre. Le Louvre. Le Louvre. Yeah, so, so what's her face? Old uh, Mona Lisa uh, with the enigmatic smile by Leonardo da Vinci is <laughs> in the Louvre in Paris. <laughs> there you go. Oh. So if you've got Paris in the Louvre, you boom, you cracked it. So uh, Bolognese isn't question. spaghetti. Not spaghetti. It's Lamborghinis. They make Lamborghinis. I told you it wasn't spaghetti. So if you put spaghetti, you got it wrong. <laughs> but if you put Lamborghinis, uh, Lamborghini cars. cars can you spell it? Yep, IT. <laughs> so if you put down IT. <laughs> oh, no, oh, no, come on in. Right, here we go. Question 15. Houston, we have a problem. Yep. So the largest medical center in the world is in Houston, Texas. Yep, 54 different medical centers are there. Oh, yeah. 7.2 million people visit the centres every year. 7.2 million. Must be a nightmare trying to find your way around. Oh, I have you... no hope, would I? <laughs> I'd have to text you and say, Tim, can you, find, can you follow the little blue dot and tell me where I've got to go left or right? You know what I'm like. Yeah, I mean, if you, I've got to find me if then. If you're at you one end and, am, uh, and you've you got five oh, minutes then. to get the other end, you've got no chance, have you? Oh, God, don't get past, <laughs> wouldn't you? Go from ward to ward. Yeah. Oh, they're 400 hectares. Outrageous. 400 hectares. That's just phenomenal. Still, they do everything big in uh, Texas, don't they? Yeah, they've got big hats as well. Yeah, they've got big hats. Got ten, big hats. ten gallon hats. <laughs> 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 so, you've got Houston, Texas, boom, you got it right. That's what I need for the medical centre, though, isn't it? At least I've really what, got to find What not, Dolmio yeah. sauce? No, <laughs> what not, Dolmio sauce? <laughs> Nothing, nothing oh, like, nothing dear. like. Oh, uh, question God. 16. <laughs> Wellington, New Zealand. The southernmost capital in the yes. world is Wellington in New Zealand. I bet Christian got it right. Yeah. I thought, it, I thought at first it might have been something like Punta Arenas, but that's not a capital <laughs> city. What's that? That's in Chile. That's, that's, that's like the southernmost town, isn't what it? What was it called? Punteranus. <laughs> Sounds like a bad post of piles, doesn't it? <laughs> but that's that's the jumping off point to go to the Antarctic I'll generally. Be about right, yeah, oh, chilly. <laughs> that's chilly. <laughs> it's better than shingles, isn't it? Sounds far more interesting. Sometimes oh, you just goodness. can't get the staff. Oh, <laughs> so, question seventeen then. <laughs> the Danube. Yes, the blue Danube. That one, yep. So if you've got the Danube, boom, you cracked it. That goes through four, four European cities, capital cities like that. So we've got the Danube, cracked it. Eighteen. God. This is going to be a trick one, isn't it? Yeah. This is where we're ranking the cities in terms of population, lowest, mm. oh, sorry, largest, largest to lowest. So the largest being Delhi, Mexico City, Beijing, Karachi, Istanbul. That used to be Constantinople. Let's not confuse matters, shall we? No. Delhi, Mexico City, <laughs> Beijing, Karachi, Istanbul. If you got them in that order, you got it right. Yeah, 
Any other order? Sorry. No, you didn't get it right. <laughs> yeah, these are pretty difficult, aren't they? But they the, are yeah, I mean, it, it was, it was pretty much a guess, wasn't it? <clears throat> because they had 10 gallon heads. Heads. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, where are we going? Uh, 19. There we go. 19. Oh, so the, it's in Shanghai. So Shanghai's got all that stuff. Yeah. The got... Oriental Pearl TV Tower. With its pink round bits on the top. Yeah, pink. Hello. And the longest underground network in the world at 249 miles, believe it or not. Good it's got, great. Well, so we've got 272 stations. They've got more than us. <laughs> They've got, they got five, five, 508 stations. There you go. Yeah, can't say you don't learn anything oh, on this. On. So hang on, London's 272 stations and it's 249 miles long, which is 400 kilometres. And we've got, they've got 508 stations. That's twice as much. And their network is 831 kilometres long. So, yeah, Blimey. the bit stuff, they doubled us, basically. Spend and I thought ours was pretty all good. All day underground. Ours is the oldest, but they're yes. the longest. So, Happy Shanghai days. is the answer. Same, Shanghai. Shanghai, Shanghai. Uh, and the last question in this round, boom, Monaco. Oh, oh. God, I dream of having speeds like that. 319.58 megabits per second. Wow, that's like that will rattle your cage. Right now, <laughs> if you put Monte Carlo, you can give yourself a point because, yes. strictly speaking, Monte Carlo is a district of Monaco. So either or, you can have Monte Carlo or you can have Monaco. There you go. Give yourself a point. Give yourself the point. Boom. So was that round amazing? Are you people amazing? It's better to go then. It is going to Scotland on holiday, isn't it? Can you remember all the trouble we had to oh, get God. a signal in Scotland? Jesus. Well, you were yeah. having a lot of offshoring because you're in COVID and you've got a lot of midges about. Oh, don't, don't talk to me about midges. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, Blue things. <laughs> oh, we had a laugh, didn't we? Try and get back into that kayak. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Terrible, wasn't it? Terrible. <laughs> we, honestly, we were Poor so Artie. funny because we, we went ashore. We think this is a nice beach. Oh. And then we and went ashore. And, we, um, and we're so used to like kayaking together and like you get in, yeah, yeah, I sort yeah. of wander oh, off, so what I pushing, I'd jump in and off we go. And we, and we were panicking, weren't we, with me just yeah. coming down. <laughs> so we slung the dog in. No, you no, go, cat. We both jumped That was arty. We had oh, arty then, didn't yeah. Dog, didn't have a dog, did no. yeah. So we chucked the cat in, we both got in and we grounded ourselves, didn't we? <laughs> and we sit there trying to push ourselves off the clouds and Maybe midges coming around. Oh, oh God, it's so funny. So we've got, oh, we've got a couple of five out of tens. No, it's not oh, bad. Oh, flipping heck. I'll tell you what, because you know, I've been a bit mean. They were quite difficult, weren't they? Some of them. But obviously not for Christine. What did Christine get? 10 out of 10, no. Christine? 8 out of 10? <laughs> no, no, no. What did you get? Five out of 10. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, so there you go. Right, shall we move on swiftly? You're our benchmark figure, Christine, tonight. Yeah, she did cheat, by the way. Oh, <laughs> she, did, she, she said she cheated. Look. Did she? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was getting so excited. I was thinking, come on, girl. I was mm. getting behind you then, mate. Right, moving swiftly on. The uh, well, the replacement she... the replacement scrum off comes on. 21. <laughs> hey. She asked me come... in Syria. She goes with something, doesn't she? She asked me in Syria. She goes with something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, here we go. Where are we so complete the song. When it's spring again, I'll bring again tulips from. Oh, you didn't have to sing it. Oh, sorry. That's, oh, that's a bit obvious. Right. Complete the song. When it's spring again, I'll bring again tulips. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So you know what? Let's just have a think about this. Right. 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 Moments, and there are many of them. <laughs> so, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, cheat what me? <laughs> Should we just introduce this round? This round is fill in the missing word. Yes, so, so I think we've all got that one. Yes, oh, uh, I had dodgy coffee. No, it's tea, wasn't it? I was with green tea there. 20, 22. Yeah, yeah, you just give me answers. Head. 
What? No, I didn't say. We haven't got there yet. What? No, I haven't given the well, answer. I didn't stand no. on green tea. Yeah, well, you said. Did you I did, say? yeah. That, I said the we more went there. Yeah, the I more observant you was. did say where it was. Did I? Yeah. No, I didn't. Anyway, 22. We're moving on. Bruce Springsteen wrote and sung about the streets of which city in 1994? There you go. So Bruce Springsteen, the boss, and it? it's the boss. Uh, wrote and sung about the streets of which city in 1994? Question 23. Sour Fork Ranch, the fictional home of the Ewing family, was featured in which American TV series which ran between 1979 and 1991? Yeehaw. <laughs> Who killed Bobby? No, it wasn't Bobby. It was JR. Was it JR? Yeah. All oh, right. But you're just giving it away now, aren't you? Probably. <clears throat> I think Christine is copying Anne's answers. <laughs> <laughs> so, 23 then, South Fork Ranch, the fictional home of the Ewing family was featured in which American TV series, which ran between 1979 and 91? 24. On the 12th, on the 12th of February 2023, which team won the NFL Super Bowl championship? Whom won the Super Bowl this year? Aha. Ooh, it was on the telly. I wouldn't know. I mean, yeah, they they the they did make quite a big thing of it this they year. Did, they did this year. They're trying to they're trying to, they're trying to they're trying to bring it back in as a. I mean, it was it was popular during the eighties, mm. back end of the eighties, because I used to play it. Oh, well, that's what it was popular, like, wasn't it? Yeah, because I was playing it. Was it. A little yeah, big big shoulders. No, I didn't get near you. <laughs> get out of it. Get out. Of it. I was defense. I was defense. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So on the 12th of February 2023, which team won the NFL Super Bowl championship? 25. Nowadays, in which city would you eat traditional Peking duck? In the Peking duck restaurant. In Peking. <laughs> It's so, bloody hard I'm going to smack you. I'm going to really smack you. Tell you nowadays, in which city would you eat traditional picking duck? I know I ought to duck if I ain't careful. <laughs> <laughs> so my name's not that good, yeah. you know. 2016. <laughs> cool, Rob, you do this one. No, I can do this one. You no, do this no, one. Right, name the song. Right, you're going to name the, name song, the song. And you're thinking cities. The words are taken from a poem by William Blake. Supporters sing it before kickoff when England are playing international rugby matches. The audience sing it during the last night of the proms. And this point that everybody would know is the anthem used by the WI. Okay, so we're naming a city. The words are taken from a poem by William Blake. The supporters sing it before kickoff when England are playing international rugby matches. The audience sing it during the last night of the proms. And it's the anthem used by the WI. Name that city. 27. In what year will the next Summer Olympics be held and which city will host the Games? Boom. Ooh. We get that from a local takeaway. Okay. So <laughs> it's in Chelmsford. Oh, Gaz, what have you been on tonight, mate? Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Oh, in which year will the next Summer Olympics be held and which city will host the games? 28. Oh, 
In which city did Molly Malone wheel her wheelbarrow while shouting cockles and muscles? <laughs> cockles, muscles, <laughs> jelly deals, <laughs> prawns. Who wants a pint of prawns? I think he snapped on me. Yeah. <laughs> bit fishy, I think. bit fishy, that one. Mm. So in which city did Molly Malone wheel her wheelbarrow while shouting cockles and mussels? This is going to have to be a 10 out of 10 round, surely. And a penultimate question of the quiz this week. Uh, the musical Hairspray is set in which city? Mm -hmm. I love that musical. Do you? Mm. Brilliant. So, question 29, the musical Hairspray is set in which city? On the last question in the quiz this week, in which city were rally bicycles originally made? Ah. You see, I would have gone for either that one or the other one. Yes. Because... There's another major manufacturer, isn't there? Not a million miles away from. Who's the other one in Chopper? Oh, no, no, I'm not going to say you can give out the answers, you see. <laughs> well, well, tell us when you get the answers. So, yeah. so the last question in the quiz, in which city were rally bicycles originally made? Boom. That's the quiz done. Ha <laughs> ha. I bet you did well on that round. So, should we dive straight into the answers? Because we're, we're kind of running out of time. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. So, uh, boom. When it's spring again, I'll bring again tulips from Hamster Jam. Oh, Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you've got Amsterdam, which I'm sure you did, you've got that point. Boom. You're up and running. 22. Ah, streets of Philadelphia. Isn't that a cheese spread? Phil, Philadelphia. <laughs> so, Bruce, Bruce, Sprung, Bruce Springsteen sung about the streets of Philadelphia. So, boom, I'm sure you got that one as well. 23. Cool. Of course, it was Dallas. <laughs> so, if you got Dallas, I'm sure you did. You've got a point. 24, Kansas City Chiefs. Of course, it was Kansas City Chiefs this year. They made a big thing about it. They did. And they I never did. watched that, actually. But it was. It was all over the news, wasn't it? It was. It yes. I don't think there was controversy. But Kansas City Chiefs won the Super Bowl this year. 25, Beijing. Now, Beijing used to be called Peking. And they've got a Peking duck restaurant in Peking. <laughs> so when I was over there a few years ago with uh, my late Duchess, um, we had Peking duck in the Peking duck restaurant in Peking. They took us there as a special treat. And as Cass said, she just went down the road and got it from her takeaway. Yeah, in Chelmsford. Yeah. But we were, we, we were actually in Beijing. So yes, you got Beijing. Boom, you cracked it. Uh, 26, Jerusalem. Not Swing Low, Sweet Charity, then. No. Swing Low, Sweet Charity. Where's the city in there? I don't know, it isn't. <laughs> but that's what we normally sing. <laughs> Jerusalem. So you've got Jerusalem, which I'm sure you did. You've got the point. 27. Ah, nothing. The next Olympics is going to be in 2024, and it'll be in Paris. <laughs> if you can get there. That's, that's <laughs> if, where the plane strikes. And then... <laughs> that's, well, that's if there's anything left of Paris. Really? Is, it, is Paris burning at the moment? Cool, and I had some trouble the last few weeks. The old French do know how to riot. I'll give them that. They might not be good at much, but they're bloody good at rioting. So Paris has been burning. So 
There's not, a song called Paris is Burning, isn't there? There's a film. It's a film called Paris it's one is one of my Burning. Songs, yeah. Actually. Da, 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 Love that theme yeah. tune. It's beautiful music. Anyway, anyway we digress. moving on. 20, oh, t- Malone, 27. Or oh, the good, yeah, the good Malone, city of Dublin. Dublin it was. So old Molly Malone was in Dublin. Cockles and mussels. <laughs> <laughs> well, what was she singing? A loy, loy, loy. Yes, there you go. What? <laughs> hey, you got a loy boy? Have you got uh, a loy boy? <laughs> yeah. There you go. So, have you got Dublin? You cracked it. Oh, and the penultimate question oh, of course, it's Baltimore. There's a song called Baltimore as well in the, in the yeah, good musical. Good morning, Baltimore. Good morning, Baltimore. Yeah. Baltimore. Yes. Well, that's, argue, that's it. Oh, okay. <laughs> And the last uh, answer is Nottingham. How many people put Birmingham? Mm. Yeah, but I was thinking Dawes bikes because that's Coventry, isn't it? Well, I was thinking of BSA bikes. Yeah, they they was in Birmingham. Bikes. Who? Which ones? BSA. Oh right, BSA bikes and motorbikes were built. Oh, we're not talking about motorbikes. We're talking about uh, pedal bikes. Bi- yeah, yeah, cycles. but bicycles. But bi-cycles. but BSA made bicycles as well. Yes. You can tell me this is a trick question then. Because no. we're talking about rally bikes. Yeah, we're talking about rally and they were not Naughty. in there. Um... Boom. There you go. How many winners have we got out there? You know what to do. Add your scores up for that round. And total scores. There's the money. There's the money. That, uh, the prize that money just can't buy. Our undying gratitude for taking part. Because we love doing this. We do enjoy ourselves on a Tuesday evening. Yeah, the next week you're going to enjoy yourself by yourself because this choir is six foot eight. Oh, grief, no. And I've got to do the very best, so I won't be back until... Five out of ten, fifteen out of thirty. Well done, Catherine. Fifteen out of thirty. Well done, Christine. So do I need to start making these quizzes a bit easier? I don't know. Um, <laughs> you know, it might need to make them easier for me to read. <laughs> you know what I'm like. Uh, not our week. No, it's done pretty well actually. Fifteen out of thirty. What have we got next week? Well, um, let me just have a quick look. What did I put in? We've got we've got a good one in next week. Uh, it is. It is. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Have we had this one? Oh no, we've had that one. Mm. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, no, carry on talking. Yes. Yeah, oh, so have we had the adverts one? No. Somebody said they wanted to do a TV thing. I, I think that's next week. Next week, okay. Yeah, I, I think so we've got that one. So that'll be next week. Come on in up, you come. Say hello. Say hello to everybody. Here's the birthday wish. Here's the birthday boy. Oh, that's Christmas. Yeah, 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 that's now look, 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 what's this over here? Look, 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 what's this? What's this? Look, not underneath the arm, look, look, look. <laughs> so Yeah, advertising. Think advertising. Yeah, think advertising. So it's uh the Hound of Hill Manor. Birthday boy. Hudson, birthday boy today. He's all of one. He's uh yes. So you he's calm not me down there? on the floor. He's in the state around the floor. He's no. chewed up a tennis ball and he's got all the black bits all over the floor. <laughs> you hooligan. Oh, bless him. Just because it's your birthday, you don't think we can get yes, away with murder? Go on off it. Because normally it's like me watching the television. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, next week, it's all about sort of advertising. TV advertising. Oh, not well, not necessarily, just but it up as we go along. Just I'm just worldwide guessing. Advertising. Worldwide so advertising. No it, <laughs> I'm away next week. Oh, that's a shame. Who is? Catherine. Oh, Catherine. You're going somewhere know. nice. So you'll be able to do it on catch up. In fact, when you do it on catch up, can you put your scores in the comments? So, uh, because I don't see many comments after. I see lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of people doing the quiz after, but they don't seem to put their results in the chat. So there you go. Well, 
that's it for another week. So we'll have more quizzes coming up in the future. Um, we may. Could we change the day? Could we change the time? Oh, that's something we're going to have to ask people what they want to do, really. Yes. Isle of Widget. Ah. Oh, that's just down the road, mate. That's, that's only, just across the water. It's only three miles from us. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Difficult to walk there, mine, but... Yeah. Um, probably not even three yeah. ride, isn't it? So we'll have to do a poll, see whether we want to whether we change the time slightly. So if we could go um, nine till ten, would that be too late? I'll be back by nine, but it depends on what people want to do. Really. Yeah, can you let us know whether you was whether you want us to go later, where we go start at nine, so you get us both, or we continue doing what we're doing and you just get me. Or we change the day. We could do it on a different day. We could possibly do it on a Wednesday. Would that work? Oh, Kathleen, if she goes, you'll get it. Look, Isle of Wight is Hampshire. We live in Hampshire. Yes. It's literally two miles across the water. We, we, we have 5G signals down here. Yeah. So the Isle of Wight, the Isle of Wight, <laughs> <laughs> it's not like going to the other side of the world. It's still Hampshire. It's just. It, yes. You know. <laughs> I'm very careful. Don't want to offend everybody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, anyway, we'll wave to you. Tell us yes. what you're very wrong. We'll give you a wave. <laughs> so until next week, don't forget Thursday. Another uh, another great show coming up with everyday conversations regarding mental health. Oh, you seriously, Kath, if you go to the Old White, if you just let us know which ferry, we can stand on the end of the wall and give you a wave, especially <laughs> down the road. <laughs> but say, go by. Unless you're going out to Southampton. Oh, oh, that's a point. Could be going to Southampton. Oh, that's a point. Where are you going from? Portsmouth? Yeah. Oh, anyway, so we don't let, let us know. And, um, yeah, great. I've got a great conversation on ordinary people's extraordinary stories coming out this Sunday. Um properly worth listening to or watching even it was a real fun one to do so until next week tt fn ta for now Bye.